Hello friends, this is your Patriot John Adams doing another Bitcoin update for Infinity Dollar Bill. Here we can see an absolutely stunning exponential rise in the Bitcoin price. Uh, we currently are up at about 605. So we're already making this last bump look very small. It is possible we have a very small amount of gains left here, like 100 or so points. But I would not suggest purchasing any Bitcoins at this time. I would suggest selling out um, a high percentage of your coins at this moment. We are very high up here. And this is a more um, nice looking top. This one didn't, didn't look as good. I mean, not that this is like the very top. See how this one like curves up like that? And this one kind of curves down like, like this. That means that this one could be an actual top and is more likely to be, but it still might not be. It really depends on the events, like I've been saying. I do think that there are some more gains to go because this is the one day, one minute chart. And you can see that we already had a small crash from 610 all the way down to 530 or 535 or so. So it's already crashed and recovered. And that was in only, what, like an hour's period of time. Like from there to there, that's only one hour. So this crash and recovery actually happened in like 30 minutes. Bitcoin is ridiculously volatile. Please do your own resource, uh, research. You can do your own research by checking out Mad Bitcoins. He has a great channel, keeping up with the Bitcoin events. You can see here in his, one of his last videos, the CIA is monitoring money transfers. That's to be expected though there are now mines paying in bitcoins and the last one there is bitcoin rent is um accepted in china or rent is accepted to be paid in bitcoins in china <clears throat> other crazy things going on the feds are totally freaking out about bitcoin they've got their propaganda buddy here the usa today really pumping some stuff out for them i mean this this sentence right here, just I was stunned when I read this. It says, if you take out this part, it says, Bitcoin will make its case to Congress on Monday that such currency has potential to open the digital economy to poor societies around the world. Like Everything they say just barely makes any sense. The way they describe Bitcoin is the virtual currency that fuels transactions on internet black markets such as Silk Road and Black Market Reloaded on the different news sites they've really started to push and say that Bitcoin basically fuels child pornography and other terrible things especially things that sound really really bad on um, news type of websites and if we further go into USA Today I might as well do this since I'm here you can see they got that's like a devil looking logo let me zoom in a little bit but yeah, those are devil horns and like what the hell. But also, they just have so much propaganda going on here. It is unbelievable. Look, this is the editor's um, cartoon basically. Los Angeles airport status. Flights are delayed. Meaningful gun legislation delayed. Assault weapon ban delayed. Shootings on time. Killings on time. Funerals on time. And the bottom, enough is enough. Delayed. Yeah, so you can see what they're pushing for. Then even more, just to point out the propaganda, you can see they're saying correcting JFK mythology on his death. So all their articles out lately are just like opposite of what they should be probably. They're saying 85% of people polled believe in this conspiracy theory. And you know, what else does this say? But the way they say it right here, and yet the rubbish keeps spilling out in the print and celluloid. You can find out that this uh, was actually written by an Englishman. A British person wrote this article against them um, saying that the Kennedy's death was totally done by a out of control um, communist. 24 years old with no education or something. Wait, what else did it say? 
<clears throat> there is no credible or convincing evidence of a conspiracy, not by mafia gangsters or foreign governments or even by U.S. intelligence agents. So, yep, you can tell it was definitely done by U.S. intelligence agents. <laughs> just by looking at this thing, you can tell everything the USA Today says. You just might as well listen to the opposite. Janet Yellen is right for Rocky Times, our view. So they're going to go into, you know, she has been tested by the financial crisis and she has deep experience, critical timing, a professional money printer. We've got lots of them these days. Don't expect anything different to come out of there. Nothing um, good in a way. Maybe just some severely crazy stuff. That's all we've been seeing. I'd expect it to get crazier until it finally bursts. And we're witnessing the bursting right here. Y'all be sure to subscribe to Infinity Dollar Bill. You can check out InfinityDollarBill.com. And we are also part of TrillionDollarMedia.com. I will see you guys soon. Take care.